teachers this is Ahmed Raza Dharolia from City School Daraksha campus and today I'm here to present you with an idea of how we can use Doseri software for our classrooms as well as for online learning purpose now uh, if you haven't installed the software Doseri yet you may go to the app store and install the Doseri software from your iPad then after installing the series software which I have already using since a long time uh, we may open this software and this is the main page of this software front screen now there are basically two ways to connect the Doseri to your laptop or to uh, display the screen on uh, your projection or maybe for online teaching purposes now there are two basic methods one is uh, from my iPad alone using airplay to present and the second or uh, easier method is through a computer although both are easy method we will see what are the differences between the two for this uh, method with that is second one you need some special software which is known as Doseri desktop so the Doseri desktop software need to be installed on your PC if you are trying to connect the iPad to your PC through this software and for the first option uh, if you want to just make notes on the software you can use this option and although you can also connect through first option by using an Apple TV device now if you don't have an Apple TV device you still have an option to connect this to your computer and we will discuss this option in the later part of the video first of all let's go through the software first and uh, let's leave about the worry of how to connect this we will be discussing this afterwards first of all we, will, we, we may see what are the options in the software and how can it help us in teaching online or in your classroom environment now these are all the project files that are being displayed these are the folders made by me such as A2 level and then we have uh, AS level grade 9 I have just sorted all of my classes in an organized manner now if I go to uh, maybe O levels there are further subfolders that can be made there, there are some exercises and concepts folder there are some past papers then there are yearly past papers topical past papers so we can make multi category folders to organize our data now if I want to start a new file if I want to make new notes there is a plus button in the left bottom of uh, and you can see the different resolutions that are coming so default iPad resolution will be selecting it 1024 by 768 so this is a default uh, size if you want to present in a classroom uh, now this is the blank page that we'll be using now the upper part is the part that is being seen by the student and the this the lower part is for us to uh, maybe write now if you can see there are some uh, things we can need to just consider and we just need to go through this uh, fast again and again now there are some basic things first of all there is a background uh, we can always change the background of the file if you want and for uh, changing the background we have the first option so this is background uh, first of all we can use a solid background color such as black and red and any background color you may seem appropriate then we have uh, other than colors we can use the background such as some patterns now there are some patterns such as whiteboard is already selected we can use the squares if you want to teach some math related subject now uh, there are some maps uh, for geography maybe and there are cert certain other patterns which you can explore you can uh, use the pre-built uh, maps here what if uh, I need to uh, select a custom background if you want to select a custom background what do you need to do you need to insert an image from this uh, portion that is second part uh, whenever you want to insert an image this is very important if you want to make interactive classes you can always insert an image from the camera or from the photo library so the photo library is basically the pictures that have already been saved on your phone for example if I want to use this picture so this becomes I can also resize the shape okay resize the size uh, I am resizing it or if you want to use this as a background what we need to do first of all we need to insert the image now we, we want to go to the background patterns option now by going to the custom pattern 
I need to add this as a background. If I if I select plus, this will become my background. So I can use this as many times I want as a background uh, uh, because I have saved this as a preset. Okay. So just for my subject, I have made some background such as petty cash book. So I use it most often. So there are some formats. What default background I use, I use basically lines. So this was the background figure. Now let's move forward. So this was the background I am basically using. There are simple lines, shaded lines, so as to differentiate between them. Now there are some simple options. If I have made the file and if I want to export this file as a PDF, so uh, I want to share this with my students. So I'll be using this option, export, share as PDF. If I go to PDF, the, this will ask two options the, that if I want to stop at each slide or each stop, this will be discussing afterward. What is difference between slide and stop? Now, these are some uh, pretty basic controls. As you may can see, you can change the color uh, and you can change the size. The size that is my dear teachers recommended for uh, classroom is two pixels. So if you are using two pixels marker width, uh, pointer pixel size, it is uh, default and the opacity would be 100% because you can see it clearly now there are different style one is pen one is pointer and one is highlighter so basically in a classroom we will use a normal size that is a normal marker and then we have different colors there are uh, six to seven uh, presets that you can save here so that you can use this more often during your lecture now we can draw straight line or we can write whatever we want within the lines my name is ARD whatever you want to line write between the lines you can write in here as note we can always zoom this so as we can see now see there are two uh, basically windows one is for writing purpose and the second window is for student purpose so if you want to see how it is being displayed to the student this is the upper screen and how you want to write this is the lower screen uh, but if I uh, move this to vertical position if I move this to the vertical position it's not being displayed here right now because I'm using uh, some background software for this so these are two options now this is an eraser this is pretty simple uh, this is thing now the uh, most important thing which I want to tell you about Doseri and why I prefer Doseri over all tons of the softwares available in the market is that the timeline feature now this is very important timeline feature let me show you with this uh, with the help of a exercise that I've already made for example let me open this exercise of mine now this is my file this basically contains four slides it is showing one of four okay it is showing one of four mean this is all I am on my first slide if I uh, sele uh, select the right option and now this is the second slide now if I go to this this is the third slide and this is four of four this is the last slide okay this is the four slides for this uh, now what is uh, what makes Doseri unique among other rival companies that are available in the market we have a timeline option so that first of all we can make all the notes we can prepare for the lecture and then we can just play it during the class if we are playing it the student may seem that we are writing it right away but i am not writing it right now i am just uh, i have already written all my notes and now just i am rewinding and forwarding it just like i am rewinding or forwarding any video file so this is the beauty of the series that I can rewind or forward at a speed. Now see this speed also can be controlled here. If I want uh, students to write slowly and if your students are slow learners, you can just adjust the speed and the doseri will write in a very smooth manner and very slow manner okay so if i uh, don't want to play right away and what if if i want to control the keystrokes on my hand so these are the click of buttons see whenever i'll uh, click the next button one step or one uh, step uh, one uh, stroke is gone forward and when I, if we want to go backward if i, I can go backward for example uh, the most important thing that I think this is important in this Doseri software, whenever I want to edit something, it is very easy. 
for example this is the figure for drawings and this is not 500 this was actually 5000 and I realized it when I completed the whole video when I completed the whole lecture then I realized how to uh, now change this figure from 500 to 5000 now this is very easy in Doseri what I'll be doing I'll be rewinding my whole lecture I'll be rewinding my whole project and I'll go to the specific position where this 500 drawing figure was written see I have reached this figure now when I have reached this figure I do not need to rub this value if I uh, use an eraser to rub this value then the student will realize that yes sir has made a mistake and now sir is correcting that mistake I do not need to give this impression to my student that I had done a mistake first and now I am correcting my mistake the easiest way to do this is to use this option uh, this undo and redo buttons are here see if you can uh, if I can show you this uh, yes uh, this button is basically yes this button is uh, undo and this is redo this is undo button and this is redo what I am going to do if I am going to undo this figure 500 and I am writing it again as 5000 see I have just written it on the same place and when I continue this lecture uh, it will be done see editing was so easy now whenever I play this figure uh, the doseri will realize this that this was the 5000 figure from the first place doseri won't write the old figure that is 500 so this is the basically the feature that impressed me a lot because uh, as my subject is accounting sometimes uh, uh, being a human we make mistakes and we need to correct this mistake sometimes the past papers also have mistakes so we can easily correct this okay so these are some options that we can consider this is add a new slide whenever you want to add a new slide you can use this this the red feature is adding a new stop now what is stop uh, see when I'm uh, uh, writing this lecture I am I, I may consider stopping it at the uh, for example at the end of each transaction so that students can get some time to reflect upon this and students can get some time so as to see whether the whether they have copied the figure or not so I can use a stop there see uh, a stop a red stop is placed after this value and for example if I do something else then I may stop this figure on this total figure I may use another stop so what I will be doing I am rewinding this and just I am playing this if I am playing this see the uh, uh, doseri has uh, stop or pause my lecture on this point and if I then play this option again the doseri will again start from the same place again now this is stop okay so this stop figure is very important whenever you want to give a pause to the classroom or whenever we want to uh, stop writing and just need to relax and just need to explain the point to the student you may use this stop figure so uh, these are the options that we can use we can add a slide we can uh, uh, go to the next slide we can go to the previous slide so this slide option is very important uh, this is for erasing if you want to erase the whole file or the whole whiteboard this is you can use this erase feature uh, now if you want to select some figure for example this uh, 250 figure I want to select it so what I will be doing I will be circling this figure and the doseri will automatically cache this figure and I can just move it to some other place maybe I want to relocate this so I can definitely do this this is very simple uh, so this is also an option if I want to go to again uh, I want to go to again this place and I want to place it on the right place that it was written outward that is credit okay so these were the features that uh, we can use we can insert pictures in this we can insert uh, maybe we can export this as a PDF file for student distribution uh, if I start this PDF distribution now there are two options uh, one is uh, stopping at each slide that is sensible and one is stopping at each stop so this is uh, the option that we use stopping at each slide so what we'll be doing uh, doseri will make a document for this as you can see doseri has made a pdf file for easy distribution to our students so i hope my dear uh, teachers this is beneficial for you now let's move forward and see how doseri can be connected easily with a desktop computer so that we can use it in a classroom for projection purpose or we can also use it for online teaching purpose
Now let us see how to connect Joseri to our computer or laptop. Now there were two options that we were talked previously. One is through a desktop computer. I will be using through a computer first. Now if I go to this option, there are several connections coming. Now what are these? Uh, I firstly I need to install a software on my computer with the name as Doseri Desktop. I'll show the software to you right now. Uh, on my laptop, on sorry, on my iPad. This option will be coming if I have started uh, Doseri desktop on my computer. Now the important thing to remember is my dear teachers, uh, your laptop and your iPad both need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi. If you have connected both of them with the same Wi-Fi, right now you don't need an internet connection to work for Doseri. If you are taking offline classes in a classroom, so you don't need an active internet connection. What you need is you just need to have a Wi-Fi router. Only a Wi-Fi router will done the job. Only what we need to do, uh, both the laptop and the iPad need to be connected to the same router. If they are both connected to the same router, the option would be coming on this. I'll be selecting this, the blue option. And now what happened? My the computer is already connected to what? To this uh, iPad. Now I may open any project. If I open the project, now the project is being displayed on the computer now as you can see the computer is displaying the whole uh, file again I am going through this file if I am playing this okay the project file is going like this I can uh, add any sort of images I want I can use any uh, writing font so this is very easy for me to add and to make attractive presentations for my classroom okay so this is again we have already discussed all all of this I would just need to show you how to connect this to the computer now let us go to the uh, next option and the next option is if I don't want to use a uh, computer uh, the second option is this I can use from iPad alone using airplay now what is this airplay airplay my dear uh, teachers is a built-in feature of an iPad for airplay to work i need uh, one of two things the easy option is i i need to consider buying an apple tv an apple tv is basically a device uh, known as casting device which i can use to connect my ipad to my projector so this this device known as apple tv uh, if you don't want to buy apple tv another option is i can use this option connecting and for this what I need to do I need to make a connection using uh, this screen mirroring now this screen mirroring option is there but the screen mirroring option will only work when I'll be using a screen mirroring device or a software for this the software that I'm using right now uh, is a software let me show you the software is lonely screen Lonely screen is basically a free software which is used for mirroring. Now what I need to do, I need to install this Lonely screen AirPlay receiver software on my computer. Okay, Lonely screen AirPlay receiver. We can easily uh, download this by searching it on Google. And once I've installed this software on my iPad, there comes the option and the option is for screen mirroring. So I'll be opening this screen mirroring. If I open this screen mirroring, see there is coming Apple TV for ARDPC. So I can connect this. Uh, oh, right now I'm not able to connect this because I'm already using Zoom software for recording purpose. Okay. So when I uh, disconnect Zoom, I can show this how I can we easily connect this. And this is another option to display this to the computer. Now let us go to the PC. Uh, let me show you the desktop inf interface or interface of my PC. Now on my PC, I have two options to connect my iPad to my computer. One, I was uh, talk about the Siri desktop. This the Siri desktop free version is available on the website. But only one problem is it with the free version that the free version will show uh, watermark on the uh, right uh, bottom 
it will be showing a small watermark which you won't uh, need to be worry about but if you want to remove this watermark you may considering buying this software and it cost around $30 to buy this uh, Doseri desktop software and if you want to also remove the watermarks from the PDF files that you export uh, for distribution to your students you may also consider buying this for additional $5 so totally it is uh, uh, the total cost for buying the Doseri software is $35 for lifetime but still if you want to use it as a, a demo version it will always work as a demo version no matter how, how many years you want to use so on your desktop computer you need to install this Doseri desktop once you have installed it he, it will ask you for password you may give password any password you like and then you need to connect this through your iPad by using the option that was uh, connect through a desktop computer okay so your iPad will be giving you options and if you consider this uh, option then this will be easily connected to your iPad Once the connection is established you will see this window and this window is showing that your desktop computer is connected to your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi is also connected to your iPad means your Wi-Fi device is acting as a link between your uh, iPad and your desktop or laptop computer. So you don't need an active internet connection for this. You just need a plain basic router and the TPIC link router works best with this. Okay, if I'm connected this with this, I can again open any project file I want. Now let me open uh, another project file of mine. I've opened this project file and see the project file is already opened and I can just start working on it right away. Now this is basically the part that is being displayed to the uh, student and the upper window is not being displayed to the student. This was just for your illustration purpose and now as you can see no controls are being displayed to the student, the colors and the fonts and these are all for the teachers to uh, control the class and this is what is basically being displayed to the student whether you are teaching online through Zoom software or whether you are teaching this uh, in a classroom environment. Now let me close this and if you don't want to establish the connection using Doseri uh, desktop software there is another software that we can use it and for this uh, I have downloaded Lonely Screen. Lonely Screen is basically a free software used to mirror our iPad or any iPhone to your computer. Now what I'll be doing, I'll be using the second option on my Doseri software that is from my iPad alone, you, first option using Air Play to present and for this what I need to do, I need to start screen mirroring. Once I've started screen mirroring, again you can see the connection is established and now I can open any file of mine and just start presenting it remotely. So I hope my dear teachers, uh, this was a small effort on my part so as to explain you how the Doseri works. And lastly, if I want, uh, if you want, uh, want, I can also show you how to use this using Zoom software. So as you may be aware, all of you are using Zoom right now. For those who haven't started teaching on Zoom, it is basically excellent software and free software which we can use to communicate with the students and to teach them online, especially in the times of crisis such as we are facing globally. Do you need to install Zoom software, uh, Zoom software on your desktop PC? Once you have installed it on your laptop, this is the screen that is coming on the Zoom client. Once you have installed this, this is the option to start a new class, okay, new meeting option. Now in the new meeting option, basically this is one is start with video. I normally don't use my video, therefore I haven't check marked this. If you want to start with video, you can check this. And this option is very important, use my personal meeting ID. If you have used your personal meeting ID means your class ID will remain the same. So whenever your student want to join your class, you do not need to change your ID every time. So this is important, you need to check this. Once you have done this, you may start new meeting. So obviously, we firstly, you need to register to Zoom uh, using Facebook or using Google Play or directly. Once you have uh, started the class, this is the screen you will be getting and or you have already connected through the computer audio. 
now what i need to do now see if i'm speaking my mic is levels are showing here that this means my mic is working correct you can also uh, test your mic and speaker before starting the class now there's the option for this you can test uh, speaker and microphone here if i am able to listen to this i can say right and uh, and whenever i am right speaking and uh, and whenever so, i am okay so this is basically uh, i can hear my own voice okay then okay we are all good so the important thing is how can we share our dossieri screen here now this is the option share and this is also here share option whenever uh, these are the participants these are the students who have already joined to our class so right now uh, i am just uh, using it for demonstration purpose there are no students here so what you need to do you need to give your students your id uh meeting id you have given your meeting id to students so students can directly join here and will be start popping out here okay if i want to share uh, my uh, dossieri presentation again first of all i need to st uh, start up with opening dossieri software dossieri desktop i need to start this dossieri desktop and once i have started this dossieri desktop what i need to do i need to connect my ipad to my computer for example i have connected this and this is the file so i will be sending it to the background and here it is the share option is there i want to share if i want to share the whole screen i can share it with this option if, if i want to share only dossieri file i will be using this dossieri project or again if i want to use the airplay mode there is a dossieri uh, also have a built in airplay mode if i am using this built in airplay mode i do not need to install the lonely mirror software okay so i can use this again for this i need to enable screen mirroring so it's started already students are listening to what i am saying and students are watching my presentation okay so students can easily see what is being displayed on the board i can use this cursor this cursor can also be changed the design for this this is the dossieri option i can uh, change the shape and uh, movement everything for the cursor so this is it as you can see this is very easy whatever i am saying students can listening to it right now and whatever students will be saying i can listen to this and whenever any person is talking you can see here the mic levels are going up and down okay you can manage the users from here you can maybe mute any student uh, one who is annoying you in the class you can remove any participant from here once you remove any participant no one uh, will be able uh, no participant uh, that has been removed will be able to join this class now this is the meeting id this is unique for every teacher so this is the free id once you register you will be allotted a id okay if you want to close the class i will use this option end the meeting so i hope my dear teachers uh, you benefit from this uh, and if you did i am very happy for you thank you and if you have any assistance you can always contact me and your my number will be available with the office at the rakshana campus thank you